Hey everyone, Scunny here, and today I wanted to go through a Ubiquity setup. So uh, let me just begin by saying uh, why I'm doing uh, or why I need this sort of setup. Uh, I want to put a camera on the back of my house, and right now there are no Ethernet ports or uh, cables ran through the walls, and doing so um, would not be practical. Uh, going through uh, two layers of brick and drywall and so forth with the insulation. What I have here, um, I have the G4 camera, uh, G4 bullet camera, the new one. I have a UAP ACM access point, and I have a Unify Flex, USW Flex utility box here. And this box has the Unify Flex in it. Uh, and this comes with a few things we'll go over in a second here. Uh, so what this is going to do is I'm going to set up a wireless, um, a wireless connection from this AP to one of my ones inside the house and then this AP is going to get its uh, internet connection to this um, flex and then the flex is going to power a few cameras starting off with just this one uh, here. So let's get into it. Uh, let's just go over the uh, different things I have here. Like I said, this is the UAP AC flex or um, M. Uh, this is a uh, mesh access point. Uh, I bought this one because it's a little cheaper than most of the other ones. It's a little bit easier to, I guess, hide outside. I didn't want some hulking access point. The other mesh access point is, is huge, even though it's very light. Uh, so I went with this one. Uh, you can see it only has one power over ethernet um, port, the G4 bullet camera, um, just like any other of the Ubiquiti cameras, this is aluminum, um, full body here, uh, the, the pieces on the outside, the, the mounting pieces, those are um, a mix between plastic and aluminum, um, and then the single port on the bottom here for that and then this the box itself is the USW flex utility it comes with this PoE injector this PoE injector is not the same as other ubiquity PoE injectors you can see it only has the one PoE out and then it has a unique cable here which is um, you normally you would pr plug in like the three pl prong plug here and then it would have the LAN and the PoE out on this side to get access. This one doesn't have that. This is strictly for PoE uh, and power and not um, Ethernet injection. So what I needed to do to get this to power is I needed to buy a um, cord or you could do this with like any like computer cord that you have like a, a PSU power supply cord you can just cut the ends off it you just need to make sure that um, I mean it has a ground which is the three prong white is the neutral black is the the live wire line and green is the ground um, you can see on the bottom of this if I can get it to focus uh, there we go. Uh, it has L for line, the ground symbol in the middle there, and then neutral on the side. So you just need to be aware of that for whichever ones you're plugging in here. Uh, I did need to strip that with some wire strippers um, and then expose the wires in it. I don't believe it matters if it's um, a stranded wire or a solid copper. This is stranded here. Uh, just as long as the, the wire you do get is able to power some more, uh, like if it has a max wattage, 
Um, and you can probably get, if it has a higher max wattage. Um, another thing you need to know is the uh, max amperage on this as opposed to other um, ubiquity uh, PoE injectors. This is a higher max amps uh, at 1.5 amps um, and then it's the same 100 to 200 volts but it also has a max wattage output of 59.94. Uh, the other PoE injectors which are the, um, the ones that come with the two Ethernet ports, LAN and PoE out, um, are usually 48 to 42 watts. Um, so yeah. Uh, so that plugs in simply by going like that. And then it goes nicely into its little section here. Um, and then this comes with a little Ethernet cable that you can plug in. Here, I do not know what cat uh, category cable that is, but you can see. Then that goes into the power port on the Unify Flex um, to power it. So uh, there are a few settings that you'll need to know or that you'll need to set up in your Unify network to get this to work. Um, the first being uh, let's go over to the monitor. So there are a few things that you'll need to set up. First being, you'll need to go into your settings and then site. If you don't see this, you can change it back uh, to um, the, the classic view instead of seeing the new view. Uh, and then down here under uplink connectivity monitor, You'll need to enable enable wireless uplink, and then if you plan on plugging things in um, down the road and adopting them that way instead of like adopting them first at like one of your switches and then moving them to the location, you'll have to enable the un enable element adoption. Uh, so once those two are enabled, you'll go into your devices and. In the device itself, for the uh, wireless AP, you will see it's disconnected. I already adopted these to my network, so um, that I have them ready for this demonstration. You can go in to, uh, I believe it's radios, and then make sure allow meshing to other access points is selected. And then down here at wireless uplinks, uh, let's make this full size. There we go. Um, enable wireless uplinks. You'll have this allow meshing to other access points. Um, and if you want to manu manually configure these, you can set it to which access point you want it to point to uh, as its priority and then set a second one if you need to. Um, this setting only needs to be enabled on the access point itself that is going to be meshed. You do not need to uh, enable this on any of your other access points, only, only the one that's going to be using the wireless uplink. Um, and then lastly, one thing that I ran into with uh, actually powering both the access point and the camera from um, this Unify Flex was that it was doing one or the other and it wasn't doing them both or powering them both up at the same time and it would like switch uh, back and forth between both of them. So you have to go into your Flex after you adopt it to the network uh, and then you have to go to config and then under this general tab, you can't see it now because it's disconnected, but there will be another section here underneath, and I'll show you this in a bit, uh, that allows you to select the power settings for it. You'll select uh, PoE injector for the power settings. And the reason for this is 
I believe that that unlocks the making it that setting unlocks the um, uh, unlocks the full power potential of the switch itself to say you have a full um, means of giving power out to the other things that's connect things that are connected to it because this this flex um, switch is all four ports are PoE out. All right, and then after you set that, everything's fine and you just plug it in. So let's go ahead and uh, plug it in. And I have a couple ethernet cables here that I can set up. Be careful um, plugging things into this switch, especially with the guard on, uh, that have these like little tabs um, on the uh, things because it's very hard to get them out. Let me plug in the power for this. Now, again, I already adopted these. Like I already plugged them in individually and then plugged them directly into my uh, switch to adopt them. Um, and that was before I did all the wireless uplink stuff for them. So just keep that in mind which is something you, you will have to do the first time. Okay. All right, so that is plugged in, so that should be getting power soon. Yep, you can see that the white light is coming on. And then we will go ahead and plug in the camera and the switch. All right, so first things first, let's go and plug this into the access point, not the camera, the access point. Um, and then this blue wire we'll do, I should have just grabbed smaller wires, uh, we'll do right into the back of that. So, all right, so you can see uh, we have the power coming in white light stable. Uh, we have a white light going on the switch, meaning it's going to be uh, setting up. Oh, there it goes, blue. And then PoE on is the red uh, light, which is pretty hard to see. And then there's a green light, light right below, meaning that it has uh, internet connectivity. Uh, the camera is still booting I believe and the access point has a small light on the side of it here that's flashing white right now that will eventually flash blue when it's ready so let's go back into let me take a look at the settings here um, It hasn't found it yet. Now, uh, be patient with these when you're first uh, booting them up and uh, adopting them to your network. And then the second time around, uh, booting them up when they're all wireless from the network uh, because it takes a little bit for them to um, finally get around to, to being fully uh, uh, functional. Sorry. So we got a blue light here, so we should be seeing the switch and the access point start to display connected. Okay, so let's go over to the feed. So you'll see, eventually it will say something like isolated and then it will come up connected wireless um, after you have it up. So that's connected and then I'll show you real quick that setting in here so you'll see power source you want to set it to poe injector um, that unlocks the full potential of the power output of the switch so now that those two are connected let's go over to the bullet camera and then you can see the bullet camera is activated uh, it's not very good quality right there i still have the plastic on her that's probably why i haven't taken that off yet um, that's pretty much it. Uh, 
Um, I plan on mounting these outside uh, where I don't have access to wireless ethernet or uh, ethernet that is and then I'll just run exterior ethernet cables to each one of my uh, cameras that I want to set up out there I think I'm gonna have a, at least one more after this um, and yeah hope you found this informative and if you have any questions leave them down in the chat box below thanks see ya